This is the Nigerian Lion, who has been working hard for years to craft his body to become one of the freakiest and most dangerous athletes. You know, I was always skinny all through my life, like all everything else. And, you know, I started playing rugby for my local team and they told me, you know what, you need to, if you're going to be taking hits from other guys, you need some mass, you need to put on some more size. I started going to the gym from that point on, just to back on, like, just put on some muscle. And, you know, and it just tend to happen quite quickly. And it was, everyone was like, man, As long as you really, really believe in yourself, you can do anything you want. You can beat anyone. Start right now and make a difference. Boy, bodybuilding, you can give your heart out and you get rewarded for your own hard work. You know, and for me, that just sold for me instantly. I was like, okay. It He's hard, he's shredded, he's strided, he's vascular, his skin's getting thinner. There's nothing holding him back except time. And it proves everyone wrong that thinks that Samson can't be, if not one of the best in this sport in the next three to five years. It's all about never quitting and never giving up and continuing to work hard and learn things new so that you can be better just thinking about how you want to look. midsection is one of those things that is such a high point to your physique, so I think I put your physique together. You cannot afford to lose that. Whatever you have to do to maintain that, you've got to make sure you do it for every size you put on. If the minute that it looks like for the size you're putting on, you're losing that point, you know, it's, it's not worth it, you got to, you know, drop back. His physique is just timeless. I mean, if you look at his physique, head to toe, front to back. It reminds you immediately of like the 90s and 2000s era, which I call the best years in bodybuilding. You have Kevin Lavoni, Chris Comier, Sean Ray, Flex Wheeler, all these great guys. Amazing physiques, which will never get old to look at. And I feel like Samson is right there with these guys.
a lot of work. Like the train, the way you train, the style you train, yeah. the way you. I, what I notice the most is the diet we are on. Okay, where in the past, you know, I kind of because I got really high metabolism, man. I go through calories very rapidly. We thought you know, the idea of okay, we gotta eat a lot of junk food to supplement that to make our calories in the difference. And what we've learned is, for me, I gotta eat clean food, but I gotta eat a lot of it. I don't have any digestive. I mean, people are like, oh, I'm like, yeah, I don't have digestive. I've never had digestive. No matter what I eat, I can go through it. My waistline, even in the off season, gut is always still. Yeah, I still yeah. got abs. Yeah. Everything's sustained. And we just kind of noticed that the cleaner the food I eat, it just means I gotta eat a lot of it. But the cleaner the food I can eat, the more. I could put on real muscle and not just blow out and then lose that line and lose that structure of it. And we just seem to all work and obviously style of training we do, you know, I've always, you know, very high intensity, you know, high volume in that. Yeah. And it just, it just works for us. And 